the call through HFD at 1117 in regards to infants not breathing at the 2100 block of Linden Creek Lane. The father checked on the one-month-year-old twins and found them unresponsive. He called 911. The dispatcher was able to provide CPR instructions. The father provided aid until the ambulance arrived. Unfortunately, the twins did not survive. Uh, this is a very, very tragic, very heartbreaking scene. Uh, obviously, the family is devastated. Uh, our hearts and prayers go out to the family. I uh, do want to let everybody know there were no visible uh, signs of trauma. Um, at this time, the family is requesting privacy as a grief. Um, in all infant de deaths, it's protocol that we investigate pending the medical examiner's findings. And that's really all we have here. Like I said, the family really, really wants their privacy. Please, let's respect that. Um, continue the prayers. Uh, once again, this is what's a very difficult, difficult scene for the family. Very, very devastated. So thank you all for, for coming out. Thank you for your time. Uh, and once again, let's keep the family in our prayers. They were in a crib, and once again, we're gonna we're, we're gonna rely on the medical examiner's findings, depending on what the autopsy shows, the results, and then we'll go from there. I don't know. What? One month year old. They were believed to be sleeping, and they were just being checked on during their nap. Um, they had just been fed. Uh, I believe the father um went to drop off. Uh, the wife and uh, the, the grandmother was watching him and when he came, he just found him unresponsive and immediately he called 911. Can you talk a little bit about the person who was taking it questioning? They're not questioning, they're just, it's just protocol. Once again, it's every time an infant dies, we, we do the investigation to make sure everything is proper, uh, pending the medical examiners. So nobody was arrested, everybody's just to verify the facts so it can, so we can match up with the findings and then really that's about it. Everything seems natural. There didn't seem any foul play. Is It doesn't look like that. Uh, once again, the family is devastated. Looks like they're very, very caring family. Once again, um, it, this just was a difficult scene. Did you describe who was at home at the time? The grandparents were there um, and once again, uh, other family members, but I'm not sure. Spanish. Chief, Spanish. Spanish, okay. Soy asistente Patricia Cantú con el Departamento de Policía. Aquí tengo comandante uh, Coleman, de Lisa Division. Uh, recibimos una llamada a través de los bomberos al respeto a los bebés que no estaban respirando a la cuadra de 2100 de la Linden Creek Lane. Nos dicen que el padre fue a revisar a los gemelos de un mes y los encontró en la cuna y no estaban respirando. Llamó al 911. El despacho le dio instrucciones para dar ayuda médico. El padre les brindó ayuda hasta que llegó el, la ambulancia. Desgraciadamente, los, los gemelos no sobrevivieron. Estaban en, esta escena fue muy difícil. Estamos pidiendo que todos uh, oren para la, pa la familia, los corazones y los uh, y, y, uh, oraciones estén con la familia. No hubo signos de vis, vis, visibles de, de trauma. Um, en todas las muertes infantiles es protógalo para investigar hasta que el médico de forense está en sus resultados. Y la familia si quiere su privacidad, por favor, solamente les pido las oraciones. Uh, estoy diciendo que la, la, la familia está bien herida. Uh, esto es bien difícil para todos, pero especialmente para la familia. Y también le estoy pidiendo, por favor, uh, que respeten la privacidad de, de la familia en este momento. Eh, sé que están investigando eh, con investigadores médicos y a partir de ahí van a, van a dirigir la investigación hacia una parte u otra. Pero el hecho de que sean dos bebés a la vez eh, no puede ser que a lo mejor estuvieran expuestos a alguna condición al mismo tiempo, un gas, algo. Todo, todo va a depender en la, los resultados, por eso nosotros siempre venimos a la casa para investigar, toma, tomamos fotos, uh, las ventanas estaban abiertas, entonces esto, estas cosas vamos a 
tomamos las fotos todo para, para prevenir las, las preguntas, pero todo va a ser condición las, los resultados. ¿Y las ventanas de, de la habitación donde sí. estaban los bebés estaban abiertos? Sí. Uh, no, no sé si fue en línea o varoncitos, no, no podía decir. ¿Estaban en la misma cuna? Uh -huh. En la misma cuna. ¿Cuál era la salud, la condición física de los bebés? ¿En qué salud estaban? Solamente tenían un mes y no, en eso no sé. Yes. The, the father called 911 and he removed them from their original location and he brought, so I, I don't know, we don't know. Thank you. Thank you.